On this video, I'm driving back to the lake, and this time Gideon's going with me. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the old guy, the OGJ. You know who you are. And uh, today is a beautiful day in the trailer hood. Temperatures in the 80s. It's pretty nice out. Sun shining. And Gideon and I thought that uh, it would be a good day to test out the motorbikes and head on out to the lake because he's never been there. Now, I actually did a video where I went out there and came back with no incident. So uh, I was pretty happy about that. But uh, we're going to go together. But before we get started, I just want to remind you, you know, this channel, it, uh, it takes some time and effort, and uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, all you got to do is uh, visit my coffee page. You can uh, buy me a cup of coffee, cost a couple of bucks. It goes a long way to support the channel, and I really appreciate each and every one of you who do that. Um, it's just a wonderful thing. So there is a link in the description, my coffee page. You should check it out. So now we're going to get started. Gideon and I are going to head on out and we're going to go to the lake. But the first thing I got to do is, well, I got to find Gideon. Hey, where the hell is Gideon? Oh, there he is. Hey, Gideon. How are you? Listen, Gideon has been working on this bike almost around the clock. And I think we've got it all worked out now. And uh, he's got his bike here, which is in real nice shape. And we're going to try to go to... Pushaw Lake. It's about 17 miles round trip, 17 and a half. And uh, I've done it before. Gideon wants to do it, and hopefully we can get there and back without uh, too much of an incident. Are you scared, Gideon? No, let's do it. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I know this was rattling. Oh, it, it, th that was your fender. <laughs> oh. Broke. Oh yeah, it broke off. Oh, you didn't you didn't know that? No, I didn't. Oh know. yeah, it was slapping up again against here real bad. Oh. Okay. So That's we fine. we sustained a little bit of damage. The surprising thing is, no damage to my bike. My bike actually made it here. A little slow, but it made it here. And is there any? Did you see any leaks in your in the head? No, I didn't see any leaks. Oh. Well, maybe it's okay then. The two prettiest motorbikes in the world, right there. I had all the torque on command, too. Yeah, I know. I gotta get a bigger motor for mine. I really do. But this is the second trip I've taken down here, and I made it both times. Have a look around. Hey, you should bring uh, your daughter down here sometime. Oh, for sure. She'd love it. All right, here's the trailer hood over here, and this is where the bike locked up, the rear wheel locked up, and it starts way back there. I almost hit the pavement, but but I was, for some reason, I didn't. But this is what happened. The rear fender came off, and now it looks like that. I was so close, Gideon. We were so close. So close. I'm so glad that didn't happen when I was going down the hill. Yeah, that, that could have been a mess. That, I would have lost it. Easily I would have lost it. So I'm going to pull this rear fender off and uh, there's not going to be a rear fender on this bike anymore. This, I've noticed it vibrates too stinking much. Yeah. The, <coughs> I got to get a bucket of Loctite. <laughs> Loctite every bolt we put on. Yep. Well, I made it home safe and sound, and uh, there's no rear fender on that bike anymore, and there's not going to be. Now I just gotta decide whether or not I wanna take the front fender off. But this, uh, that was pretty scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't believe the tire didn't pop. But, most of the bike came home. 